Hi guys, welcome to Minutes, where we dive deep into the world of cinema, uncovering hidden gems and exploring the complexities of human relationships through the lens of film. Today we're going to talk about a movie that blends obsession, desire, and the dangerous allure of reinvention. The Salamander, a 2021 film directed by Alex Carvalho. This is a story of a woman on the brink of self-destruction, drawn into an intense and perilous relationship with a much younger man in the heart of Brazil. The film follows Catherine, a French woman in her early 50s, played by Marina Foyce. Catherine is a woman at a crossroads in her life, burdened by years of caring for her ailing father and estranged from her sister. In an attempt to escape her suffocating reality, she flees to Brazil, where she hopes to reconnect with her sister and find some semblance of peace. But peace is elusive, and what Catherine finds instead is an intoxicatingly dangerous affair with a young local bartender named Gil, portrayed by Maicon Rodriguez. From the very beginning, the salamander captivates with its exploration of Catherine's emotional turmoil, Alex Carvalho's direction is both intimate and raw, capturing the vulnerability of a woman who has been living in the shadows of her own life for far too long. The film delves deep into Catherine's psyche, revealing her as a woman who is both fragile and desperate for something, anything, that will make her feel alive again. The first encounter between Catherine and Gil sets the tone for the rest of the film. On a sun-soaked Brazilian beach, Gil approaches Catherine under the pretense of advertising a party at the club where he works. Despite the language barrier, there's an immediate and palpable chemistry between them. This initial meeting, where Catherine spreads sun cream on Gil's back, may seem like a simple act, but it's charged with a tension that hints at the complex dynamics to come. As the relationship between Catherine and Gil unfolds, the film doesn't shy away from exploring the power imbalances and cultural divides that exist between them. Gil, a young black man from a working-class background, represents everything that Catherine is not. Youthful, carefree, and rooted in a place that is both foreign and fascinating to her. Their relationship, though passionate, is fraught with complications that neither of them fully understands. Catherine's obsession with Gil quickly spirals out of control. What begins as a fleeting summer romance soon becomes an all-consuming desire to reinvent herself through him. She starts making reckless decisions, throwing caution to the wind as she spends her father's inheritance on buying an abandoned property with dreams of opening a bar. A dream that is as illusory as her belief that she can start a new life with Gil. The film's narrative is driven by Catherine's internal conflict. She is torn between the desire to escape her past and the harsh reality of her present situation. Her relationship with Gil is both her salvation and her downfall, a paradox that The Salamander explores with nuance and depth. Catherine's journey is one of self-destruction, as she abandons the life she once knew in pursuit of a fantasy that ultimately leads to her undoing. Carvalho's portrayal of Brazil is another fascinating aspect of the film. The country is depicted through Catherine's eyes, a European perspective that is at times stereotypical and shallow. This viewpoint reflects the broader themes of the film, where cultural misunderstandings and preconceived notions play a significant role in the unfolding drama. The exoticization of Brazil, coupled with the sexualization of black bodies, adds a layer of critique to the narrative, though it is not without its flaws. As the story progresses, the dynamic between Catherine and Gil becomes increasingly toxic. The initial allure of their relationship fades, giving way to a more sinister reality. Catherine's sister, played by Anna Muglalis, serves as the voice of reason, warning Catherine about the dangers of her involvement with Gil. But Catherine is too far gone, too deeply entangled in her own desires to heed these warnings. The film's exploration of Catherine's character is both compelling and tragic. She is a woman on the edge, driven by a need to feel alive, yet unable to see the consequences of her actions. Her naivety is both her greatest flaw and the source of her downfall. The more she tries to reinvent herself, the more she loses touch with who she really is, and the more she becomes a victim of her own desires. Gil's character is equally complex. He is not simply a charming young man, he is a product of his environment, 
shaped by the socio-economic struggles and cultural tensions that define his life. His relationship with Catherine is transactional in many ways, but it also reveals the deep emotional scars that both characters carry. The film hints at Gill's troubled past and the reasons behind his erratic behavior, though these elements remain somewhat ambiguous, adding to the overall sense of mystery. One of the film's strengths lies in its ability to evoke a sense of place. The Brazilian setting is more than just a backdrop, it is a character in its own right, influencing the narrative and the character's actions. The vibrant yet oppressive atmosphere of Brazil mirrors Catherine's internal state, with its contrasts between beauty and decay, hope and despair. As the salamander reaches its climax, the tension between Catherine and Gill reaches a boiling point. The final act of the film is chaotic and fragmented, reflecting the disintegration of Catherine's carefully constructed fantasy. The revelation of Gill's true motives comes too late for Catherine, who is left to confront the ruins of her life and the choices that led her there. In the end, The Salamander is a film about the dangers of desire and the illusions we create to escape our realities. It is a cautionary tale about the lengths to which people will go to reinvent themselves and the inevitable consequences of living a life disconnected from the truth. Catherine's story is a tragic reminder that no matter how far we run, we cannot escape who we are. The performances in The Salamander are commendable, particularly Marina Foes, who delivers a powerful portrayal of a woman on the brink. Her ability to convey Catherine's vulnerability and inner turmoil is what drives the emotional core of the film. Mike and Rodriguez, as Gil, also shines, bringing depth and complexity to a character who could easily have been one-dimensional. However, the film is not without its flaws. The pacing is uneven, and some plot points feel underdeveloped. The final third of the film, in particular, feels rushed and lacks the coherence needed to fully bring the story to a satisfying conclusion. Despite these issues, the Salamander remains a thought-provoking exploration of human desires and the consequences of living in denial. For those who enjoy films that challenge traditional narratives and explore the darker aspects of human nature, The Salamander is worth watching. It is a film that lingers in the mind, raising questions about identity, desire, and the price we pay for our fantasies. As the credits roll, you're left with a lingering sense of unease, a testament to The Salamander's ability to burrow under your skin. This isn't just a film about a woman's infatuation with a younger man. It's a raw exploration of the human condition, revealing how easily desire can warp our perception of reality. The film invites you to question what lengths we're willing to go to in order to feel alive, even if it means losing ourselves in the process. What makes The Salamander truly stand out is its refusal to offer easy answers. Every character is deeply flawed, their motives murky, their actions questionable. But it's in this moral ambiguity that the film finds its strength, compelling us to confront the uncomfortable truths about the choices we make when we're driven by desperation and longing. This is a movie that doesn't just tell a story. It holds up a mirror to our own fears and desires. Visually, the film is a feast for the eyes, with the vibrant colors of Brazil serving as a stark contrast to the bleakness of Catherine's inner world. The cinematography captures the tension between the beauty of the landscape and the turmoil within, making every frame a study in contradiction. It's a masterclass in how setting can be used to enhance the emotional depth of a narrative, adding layers of meaning to an already complex story. The Salamander also offers a subtle critique of the power dynamics at play in relationships with significant age differences. Catherine's initial allure towards Gill is driven by a desire to reclaim her youth, but as the story unfolds, it becomes clear that this power is illusory. The film deftly explores how such relationships can blur the lines between empowerment and exploitation, leaving both parties grappling with the consequences of their actions. Ultimately, The Salamander is a haunting tale of obsession and loss that will resonate with anyone who has ever been caught in the grip of unfulfilled desire. 
It's a reminder that the pursuit of something new and exciting can sometimes lead us down a path of self-destruction. If you're looking for a film that will challenge your perceptions and stay with you long after the credits have rolled, The Salamander is one that should not be missed. As we wrap up this review, we encourage you to explore The Salamander and form your own opinions about this complex and intriguing film. It's a story that resonates with the complexities of life, relationships, and the pursuit of happiness in all the wrong places. Thank you for watching Minutes. If you enjoyed this review, please like, share, and subscribe for more movie recommendations. And don't forget to check out our other videos for more deep dives into the world of cinema. Stay tuned for our next exploration of hidden gems and cinematic wonders.